Hello YouTube, and welcome to my first chemistry video. I will be doing a chemistry experiment called the Formos Reaction in trying to convert formaldehyde into simple sugars, most notably ribose. This is one of the chemical reactions which is believed to have formed simple sugars on the early Earth, so let's see how it works. Basically, you are creating a highly alkaline environment using sodium carbonate, magnesium hydroxide, and calcium hydroxide. Then, you add a formaldehyde solution. Upon heating, something called an aldol reaction takes place, whereby the formaldehyde molecules will polymerize and form simple sugars. So, let's do the experiment and see how this works. Okay, so let's run through the ingredients. We have distilled water here. We have a round bottom flask. We have a distillation column to cap the round bottom flask. We have the 37.6% formaldehyde solution. We also have 150 milliliters of distilled water. We have 7.5 grams of sodium carbonate. We also have 2.5 grams of magnesium hydroxide and also 2.5 grams of calcium hydroxide, not pictured here. Okay, so the first step is to add the sodium carbonate to the round bottom flask. And if you'll notice, I have a blower fan in the back there, uh, which is used to vent the any formaldehyde fumes which might come off after heating the formaldehyde solution. Okay. Push that down and make sure it's all inside the flask. And next we have 2.5 grams of magnesium hydroxide. I figured out that the, that the metal spatula works much better than the glass stirring rod for getting out the last little bits of powder. Okay, and now we're going to add our 150 milliliters of distilled water. And we always add the distilled water after the powders, so this way all of the powders get rinsed down um, and off of the funnel. And give it a little swirl to mix all the ingredients. And again, not pictured here, I added 2.5 grams of calcium carbonate. Okay, and now we're ready to add our formaldehyde solution. And I'm going to measure out 80 milliliters of formaldehyde. And again, this is a 37.6% formaldehyde solution.
Okay. And now we're going to swirl the uh, round bottom flask again just to mix up all the ingredients. And now we're going to place the uh, distillation column on top of the round bottom flask so that we can minimize uh, any formaldehyde vapors which might escape. And of course we also have the blower fan as I mentioned to um, to vent any formaldehyde fumes which do come off the reaction. Okay, we're ready to begin heating the solution. And I will be heating it for an hour. Okay, so now the solution is starting to boil after about a half an hour. And again, we want to heat it for an hour at boiling. So once it begins to boil, you want to heat it for an additional hour. And you can see we have a nice boil going there. Okay, so now we're, uh, it's been an hour of boiling the solution and now we're ready to, to turn off the heat and to allow this to cool to room temperature and then we will be able to assess the results uh, of the experiment after it cools. So we're going to shut off the heat and I will allow this to cool and I will be back uh, with another video discussing the results uh, of the spectral analysis and I want to thank everybody for watching